Alrighty, so this right here, what you're looking at is a Sears Suburban original electric motor for the three-point hitch. Uh, this is another one, and let's see. This is actually the motor to it. And both of these, what's happened, of course I got them, I hadn't had them just real long, but uh, this gear stripped out on this one and this one. So the motor still work. And it, you know, mounts right there. It was on the back and I did measure this is a four inch um, stroke. Now the, the weight uh, capacity on these original ones, I don't know what they are. Um, I didn't have, couldn't figure it out. But anyway, I got three of them and it's just a matter of time these motors going out and all this going out. So I did a replacement on it and I just wanted you to see the original. Of course, this is original too, this sleeve right here. If you, I don't really know why they did it that way, but I had to, I had to rig it up, but I bought one that did 400 pounds, let me show you. So this is what I purchased. Um, got it off Amazon. It's like $158. Um, you know, clip the end off and put the end, you know, the original end on it. Of course, this isn't a Sears Suburban. This is a um, Craftsman, like a 92 Craftsman GT6000. I just got it all modified up. So, you know, what I did, let's see if I can get this camera in here. I had to put spacers, and I put them on top and bottom. There you go. I think it's two inches, maybe. Of course, I had to get new bolts and put them in. Anyway, this is 400 pounds. Let's see, let me show you going up and down. Very quiet. So there's that. And back up. Four inch stroke is what you need on here, I believe. Um, anything more would be going up too high. But um, so I had to take that round sleeve off and I kind of rigged it up, but it seems to be working. I did that. I don't think that motor is going to be in the way of anything. So that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Short and sweet, what I did. Um, like I said, I got three of them. Like I showed you the other one. Look, right here's one. You know, that's that shot, but I got all the hardware for it. Let's see, I got, there's one of those. There's another one I painted it. But, um, so anyway, because I had three, I figured I'd waste a lot of money by not getting these things to work. I don't know. That's it. I, man, I can't remember. And if you want to know exactly what motor it is, send a comment. And I'll look it up. I really, I should have knew it. I don't know what that was. But anyway, right now, 400 pounds is going to do it. Of course, that's not heavy. Nothing you can pick up's real heavy. I got a tiller out here. So this is the heaviest thing I got. That is a Sears tiller, even though it's not on a Sears. That's on my yard man front end loader. But, you know, it's all the connections are for it. So that's it. You know, I'll put that on there sometime because this really, this is almost too big and bulky to get into tight areas to till. I'm going to church tomorrow tilling up part of the playground because I got that mulch. Really, I'm just going to fluff it up. So if this is too big and heavy, I might take that other one. But anyway, I didn't really, that's pretty much it. See, I got other Craftsman's that um, 
Well, I can't put it on this because I got that trailer. But if I get everything working right, I don't see this is a manual. Here's the handle. Now this is Sears Suburban. And this is what it's really for, you know. But I got that manual one that works fine. It's just on the heavy stuff, you know, it's hard to pick up. So I'm pretty happy about what I've done. And uh, like I say, if you don't know what that motor is, it's $158 if I remember right. And you didn't have to pay shipping or anything like that. So it's just straight up 158. Well, there might've been tax, I don't know. Anyway, send me a comment if you want to know more about this. And uh, I think it's going to be a good one, though. See you.